I think I'm live. <laughs> this one's specially for Lex. <laughs> um, Wednesday afternoon seem to be kind of like peak, peak boredom mode. And um, it's definitely a nice time to do a bit of a jewellery haul. Um, this is from a bag I did make a start on previously. Uh, I think this is all the sort of chunkier stuff. Can't really remember. I tucked it away in a corner while I got on with all the other things I was supposed to be doing. So I think I might have detangled a few, but I don't remember to be honest. Um, so if anyone comes in, then I will start. Let me just let everybody know I'm here because I tend not to do that, don't I? Oops. Here we go. We'll try and do that. Hello. Here we go. Okay, let's get back to StreamYard. Oh, gosh, people are in already, right? <laughs> Hi, Lex. It's Christine Reeves, I think, isn't it? That's That could be me not remembering. Um, hi, Antoinette, and hello, Andrea. How's it all going up at the hills? Busy, <laughs> busy, busy, I expect. <laughs> I have got two-way bags. They are all part of the same bag. I literally split them up for the purposes of unbagging um so depending on the time and how bored people get of, of seeing my fizzle here i will do one of these oh hello Daryl. sweat my uh, carol why did i think christine i'm so sorry <laughs> and hello lavender lady that's a really poetic name isn't it? lavender lady oh I, I have my resident cat with me but he was actually asleep in a basket full of clothes yeah, I had someone message me the other the other day saying, um, oh, I have I have allergies. Can you say you're a pet free home? I said, no, I honestly can't. <laughs> I do try and keep them out of stuff, but I'm not going to say I'm if I'm not. Sorry, going to be some clonking. Bear with me. Oops. I'm not going to take the floor. <laughs> Hello, Carol. Yes, I will try and remember. I am one of the world's worst when it comes to names. Strange collection of things in here. Right. One chipped in. One empty bag. I have to show you my. Now I know it's on my middle digit, and I'm being very polite here. Um, this this ring, I ordered a very very long time ago from China, and it was something about 98 98p or something. It's magnetic. My plan was, you're going into route fairs. It's a good way to kind of test things without anyone really noticing. <laughs> I thought it was worth a punt anyway. Um, I think they've tried to make it look a little bit like the Lord of the Rings ring, except they engraved it on the outside, not the inside. It's silver, not gold, and it's almost too big for my finger, so I'm probably going to end up losing it somewhere. But anyway, also I can't wear it for very long either. Today I'm modelling some uh, modern jewellery. It won't be on me for long because I get highly allergic. But these are two necklaces. This is one separate one. It came out of the last batch I thought was quite cute. And then I'm not, oh, hang on, which side, where am I going? There we go. If I can get that out of the way. Ah, it's because you're going the opposite way, isn't it? And there's some layered kind of black chains here that actually it just looks a bit, it looks like I've been eating spaghetti and got it horribly wrong. One ring indeed to bring them all into the channel. So yeah, I'm not really very fond of this big thing. Apart from the fact it sort of hangs off the breastal area like a shelf. Which is never a good thing. Excuse the tired eyes. Full moons and all that. Don't get as much sleep as I should. I'll just leave that there. So, uh, here we have. And something's already in bags. Oh my God. When we said chunky. <laughs> Free cat hair. Yeah. My, my cat, cats are very multi at the moment. So I'm sure everyone's old. But the long haired one. The Maximus Furball. is absolutely shedding like a mad thing and, and does consider his, his whiskers as well as his fur to be a great gift to which people should be treated. Now this came in a bag. Aye aye aye. Chunky. Rather Aztec. Tribally. But it's a flat lay one. I think people quite like flat lay ones. It's actually a mixture of... God it is chunky isn't it? Okay. I Oh no no! I thought it had been repaired not very well, but no, it, it's um, it's a mixture of silver and gold, on a very chunky chain. Silver tone there, gold tone there. Yeah, 
That would look amazing with a kind of a very summery sort of goddess style dress, wouldn't it? Probably not on me, but you'd be quite well armoured with that, really, wouldn't you? Yes, I think you'd be well protected. Made in China, of course. Rome is the brand, which I don't know, but apparently it cost £8.50. Um, not entirely sure what I'm going to get for it, but I know that if people are looking for the statement stuff, now I've got to put things in an order. Modern and chunky, and here comes another one. Actually, by the same people. Also by Rome. Bagged. Not as heavy as you think it should be, to be fair. Okay. Sorry, I had a... Please move around a bit. There we go. It'd help if I showed you the right way around. Is that the right way around? I think it is. Is that chunky or what? You just need the right keywords. That's a real statement piece. So you've got to wear a very simple outfit. In fact, it's got like ribbon around these bits here. Excuse the nails. Um, plastic or glass? Not even the glass. Plastic beads. These little blingy ones here. Don't think it's missing any, which is always the thing. You check these things over. But no, it still looks like it's good. So that's um, that's another very chunky modern one. That sound like. Right. Oh lord, we have a watch. There we go. Don't think it is anything. It's quite pretty in its own right. Not seeing any branding of any description on it at all. The strap is leather, so it might be a decent quality. Um, oh, it's got this. This actually moves around. I'm sure it does nothing, but who knows? I don't really know very much about watches. Good lord! If there's another one of those, that's going to be quite an earring. Can you imagine? Knock yourself out, wouldn't you, really? <laughs> oh, Kirsten's in, hello. I could get more for that because it says, yeah, I think it's the statement thing, isn't it? It's people who pay for it, what they really love. Oh, I miss lovely Sue. Hello, Sue. I'm hoping people's um, parcels will be arriving with them soon. Um, I've been finding my Hermes quite good in terms of pickup from me. Um, I know other people haven't the same. I've actually bought some handbags off, off a dear friend. Um, who is in need of a little cash flow and wanted to declutter. So, of course, I because she's up in London. I can't justify a trip all the way up to London. And my God, I don't like driving up there at the best of times. Um, so I sent her a Hermes label with collection all arranged for yesterday. And of course, they didn't turn up. And I felt really bad because she's looking after um, an elderly mum in the house and needs to go shopping and she can't really go out in case the Hermes man turns up and she can't really just leave this particular parcel sat on the doorstep because it probably won't be there for long if you get what I mean oh there's another one we have got two of these so you know I think people's experiences of various postal services do tend to depend on where you are and what's going on there we have a pair that's a pair and a half isn't it super chunky they're kind of slightly antique to silver tone in, I suppose, Paisley style design. So those are modern earrings. I'm not really very sure what to do with modern earrings. I haven't really worked it out. Ah, okay. Oh, there's more of these. I don't know if anyone knows anything about these. Variety Club. Little badge. That's got a little miss on it. Little miss. Oh, they're all different, I see. That's little miss. Naughty, perhaps? I don't know. Certainly got a smile on her face. Um, and that's Mr. Tickle because he's got the super long arms. Uh, I did used to know the Mr. Men years ago. Um, but presumably there are different ones. I don't have any great hopes for those particularly. Oh man. Oh, and it's got fabric on it. They've covered some of these chunky stones with lace effect. F fabrics. Mm. They're not revolting, and the stretch is still good, but it, it is what it is. Oh, I'm missing comments here, aren't I? It's not, it doesn't scroll all the time. Oh, next sold a French connection next list for £17. <laughs> Some of one sold new with tags for seven, but the keywords were awful. It makes a massive amount of difference. There is so much jewellery on 
eBay that how are you going to find what you like? You've got to think, how would I describe it? What would I look for? I'm never really sure about these kind of hair barrettes sort of things. Um, I think who's really going to want a second hand one that's tarnished, but of course it can go in a lot. Someone's already replaced one of the stains, you can very clearly see it's a different one. But they've got it's got some nice stains in it, so that might go in a broken lot. And we've got plastic things. It there really was a mix. Poppy appeal. Oh, this is really odd. Riga? I thought that was a place. But there we go. Yes. Okay. There's things that I won't be doing very much with. Let's let's be honest about it. But um I'm just sort of kind of detangle as I go. You know when you think you've got about six things knotted together and then it turns out that they are actually one. <laughs> oh, and it's got scraggy bits of, it's got dirty fabric on it, bracelet. Um, again, that may go into a broken lot because the fabric's not fantastic. It just isn't. That sounds like big messages. Who could possibly be messaging? Ah, uh, okay. Right. Yes, I, I will. I will check those out later. Um, wow. Okay. Big necklace, anyone? Necklace? Bracelet, anybody? You could have someone's eye out with that. Hello, Shelley. How are you doing? Enjoying your uh, morning morning chats. I'm not usually in when you do them because often I am doing trying to do my post run or up to the garage. Um, but I'm very much enjoying them. I love it. That's, that's surprisingly weighty. You could really have someone's eye out with that. Not my kind of thing, spectacular. Really. Each to their own. Right, that's a lot. Excuse the pigging. Um, I think that's a necklace, but it's one of those incredibly light ones where it is metal, but only just. <laughs> Such a drivel. We don't mind utter drivel. We all need... Um, it's keeping it real, isn't it? It's all the, um, oh, like when Karen does her sort of doing the washing up in the morning, that kind of thing. Is it a Karen bracelet? <laughs> it's certainly got some, some pizzazz to it. Um, yeah, this I think is a necklace. I don't really suit long necklaces. They, they sort of compete with my hair, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, that's a nice light one. Ooh. Over stretchy, stretchy. I think that's for a lot. Craft a lot. Basically, I think what I do with craft a lot is, is pretty much give them away by the postage because I don't want things sitting here. And sometimes you find sort of odd little beads. And I do check them just to make sure. <laughs> but that's quite a nice little Aurora Borealis bead, but it's not anything special. So I'm not going to get super excited about that. Oh. Oh, one with an anchor on. Hang on, something's got horribly caught up here. Um, I suppose what could loosely be turned a type of charm bracelet with a little sort of cheeky angel there. Um, an anchor. Everyone needs an anchor in their life. Oh, and a, and a brolly. There we go. It's at their, um, I think they're all plastic, those beads. Strange. Probably a lot. Probably go for a lot. That's useful beads in there. Oh no, I'm liking. I'm liking this. What have we got here? Hang on, it's all tangled up. My eyes were drawn to this. Now, is that a belt rather than a necklace? It'd be a damn small belt if it was. But that's got a very long. Um, Kind of back chain on it, isn't it? If it's a necklace, it's going to alternate between dark purple and sort of pinky purple crystals. Oh, let's have a go. Yes, it doesn't really lay flat as a necklace. That's what makes me think maybe it's something else. Oh. Oops! Crunch! Ow! Ow, I would have said a belt. Yeah, that would, yeah, I think that would be quite a small, 
a petite person's belt, but that is quite cool. I'm kind of having to do a separate pile for belts because I, I list those in, in a completely separate way. Oh God, it just, it just jumped back at me. Excuse me, I didn't like being called a belt. Stay. He has an earring. He's a very um, dingly dangly. It's a little bit bent up, to be honest. Doesn't look like it's, you know, you just kind of think someone bought one and then just never got around to wearing them. I hope there's a mate to that one, because that's great. It's quite sweet. Here we go. Oh, see, I do this with the camera every time. You have such an amateur before you. I can only apologize. I'm thinking this is another belt. Right, this is definitely a belt. See, I like these sort of metallic ones. I think they're very mod, very go-go, very 60s. And this has the hook, so that's definitely a belt. And actually, yeah, that's probably not such a different size from the other one. So sort of chain belts. I've always done quite well with those in the past, the chain belts. Let me see if that is the same size. Oh, here we go. Actually, yes, it's slightly bigger, so those are definitely belts. Okay. Yeah, chain belts always seem popular. Again, not something that I can wear. Oh, here we go. Here's our um, beach beach bum wear. Bit of a nylon cord, so it's not looking its absolute best. In fact, I could probably wash it if I felt so inclined. That's beach wear, isn't it? Beach wear there. Plastic beads. And strangely, I can wear this sort of necklace because it doesn't have a metal clasp. And I guess that's why these are popular for a lot of people. Nickel allergies and stuff like I have. All right, Pang. One bangle. Quite sweet. Surprisingly heavy, but I can see tarnish and a join, so it's not going to be anything. I tend to collect these up for um sort of armfuls and to break up chunky ones and yeah sort of a collective thing oh i can use testing testing my ring which has attracted itself to the necklace yes could be useful when you're out and about that okay so that's a definite bangle bit oh watch time isn't it here we have that's quite cool mm modish this little one here no i never writing on the back oh it's next stainless steel back next so i wouldn't imagine that these have any particular inherent value to them unless someone particularly wants a watch like this um they're sort of everywhere i would imagine quite sweet though Ooh, let me have a little look at the uh at the chat because i'm being Absorbed, yeah, turquoise, coral, shell, surfer stuff. Yeah, it's that beachy look, isn't it? It does go well against khaki. Um, I don't often wear khaki, but hey ho, summer's here, so um, yeah. You were going with khaki today, <laughs> yeah. Making lots, yeah, belts. Oh, down, yeah, oh, oh, hello's going on. Funny old skinny love. <laughs> You're whatever you are, and that's absolutely fine. And there's definitely less of you than there was, without a doubt, Lex. So you be careful. <laughs> right, so that's going on. Oh, my word. You thought that last batch of earrings were big. God, a load of these. O. M. G. <laughs> Really? Those, <laughs> I don't know what to say. They're in that kind of gun metal. It's not metal, they're not plastic, gun metal. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about those, but they're yeah, subtle and understated. <laughs> clink, clink. Oh man. Yeah, interesting earrings, big earrings. Maybe people like big earrings. I'm sure they do. I've just found another little one of these. There seems to be a load of them. Always worth checking. Very magnetic. I'll put that with the other one. Oh, love that sound. Oh. OK, 
okay? Is it our gate? <laughs> you wouldn't miss anyone in those. You'd hear me jangling down the street. These are actually a real stone. Um, different shades of green. Not sure what that is, but if I put together like a chakra lot and ones of different colours, I might do that actually. Because these do tend to, you do tend to collect these after a while. I mean, I quite like them. I've actually started wearing these ones. Again, there's no metal in them, so I can wear them. Along with, of course, my little star from Carla and my let's ward off the evil eye scully head. <laughs> I found in a lot. So I quite like, I do quite like the stone ones. I think they're rather nice. I need somewhere to put to my, oh, those are lots, those are. <sighs> it seems to have a lot of bracelets, this bit. It might be the fact that I picked up a bundle. This is another charm style bracelet. Probably Claire's or something like that. I don't think it's anything. It definitely isn't anything. I can see there. The clasp is coming apart. So just to catch a quick repair one. I'm getting better at repairing things. I've been doing quite a few repairs because I enjoy it. And um, there's something quite satisfying about making something usable again. I'm no professional. And it's simply being things like putting new jump rings on and what have you there. That's much better. Uh, it's got little, yeah, it's got little stones on. It's not all just, it's not just plastic. But I think some of the beads are little flowers. Yeah, kind of cutesy. There's another one there. There we go. Kind of cutesy. Oh, now I'd, I'm not fond of things with silky flowers on. I don't know if that was meant to be on there, if that's just got caught up accidentally. No, I think maybe, who knows? There's some red beads there, so that's probably useful for someone for a craft a lot. Oh. And again, the chunky necklaces. I mean, you'd be rattling as you walked. Oh, hello, Dawn. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Sea Glass Kaz. Lovely to see you. I love that name. Now, these have got lots of blingy bits on. A little bit, yeah. A lot of bling on an antiqued effect. But, you know, they've gone to quite a lot of effort, though. They've made it, tried to make it quite nice. Yeah, someone will love that. I'm sure they will. If you're digging, you're not entirely sure where it's going to take you. Oops. Things getting caught up on things. This is a very modern necklace, but really rather cute. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Is that a fairy? Oh, it's a fairy, like a sort of pink Tinkerbell. This is more, probably more of a child's necklace. I could be wrong, but it's very plasticky and it's got little flowers and little princess crown. So I'm thinking that's possibly more of a kid's lot. And I might actually, when I go through the ones that I wasn't immediate, that I'm not immediately interested in, I might put out a, a kid's lot because some of them want them for the kids. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not bothered about making money out of them particularly. It's just they'll keep some kid entertained, won't they? And out of their parents' house for five minutes. Stretchy, plastic, red beads, probably a craft a lot because they're a bit homespun, so I'll probably go with that. Oh now this has caught my eye. I think this is one of the things I saw when I bought the lot. And it's not perfect. There's um, a bit of fishing wire going on there. But it's a lovely rich colour. You can't really see that it is actually translucent. It's glass. And the, um, yeah, glass with these chunk chunky beads. I mean, it, it's got a lobster claw clasp, but it certainly has a slightly well, retro, if not vintage, feel to it. And these beads are much redder than they look on the screen. So I really quite like that. I'm always drawn to anything in red. Um, see, red go, kind of goes quite well with my colouring, so um, tend to get drawn to that. That's rather nice. That's a chunky one. Next. Are we bored yet or are we all right? It's gorge. Oh, dear Lord. Right, this is huge. It's a very long necklace, but it's kind of a square chain. I don't know what the name for that is. I've not seen one as big as that. 
Did you put it out of choice? I don't think you could. Oh, yes, you could. Oh, try and do it with it before it makes my skin sort of itchy. Yeah, I suppose that's quite... It's a simple look. This is why I'm not good with necklaces. And hair. I don't want to put bonus hairs in it for people. I do check quite thoroughly, you know. Because when I shed a hair, everyone knows me. <laughs> You're never bored, it's jewellery. It may well be handmade. It's got a really nice feel to it, though. Someone's taken a lot of trouble with it. Um, this is sort of, I guess, more sort of industrial, steampunky. And it's quite got quite a weight to it as well. So I'm sure someone will love that. <laughs> I didn't say hello, Karen, did I? Sorry, I didn't say hello. This, this was a necklace everyone thought was very much <laughs> pure street. For being chunky. Taking someone's eye out. <laughs> Uh, gosh, gosh. Oh, it's another beachy style one here. Oh, this is more sort of hippie beads. They're tiny, tiny shells, though. Just to think someone's actually gone to all the trouble of threading these absolutely tiny little shells together. You know, I suppose they are sort of two a penny, but I, I have a real fondness for shells. And sort of, it's, it's that summery, beachy sort of feel. I'm probably one of the world's most dedicated beachcombers. If I go somewhere, it's it's the picker in me, isn't it? I, I realise this because I did this years before I, I did any, any sort of reselling. I would always go beachcombing and find the prettiest stone or a nice shell or some, something really interesting. Um, love just seeing what my magpie I can spot as I'm wandering on the beach. Um, if I'm down somewhere like, which I won't be now, obviously, uh, thanks to lockdown, but if... Uh, it would be somewhere like Beachy Head or down there where they have lots of hag stones, the stones with a hole in, which are very magical. Um, I could collect those and I'd find loads. I, you know, I'm, I'm a good finder. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, I might go through the other bags. There's not so many of these, really, if everyone wants me to and do them both at once. This is a... Um, yeah, it's meant to look like it's, I don't know, something fossilised, but it's not. It is actually a, a resin, sort of plastic thing with a with a bead. Uh, I'm not very fond of these kind of lace, where they've used like a, what looks like an old shoelace. Um, and, and of course, it's always got metal on it. So even though it looks like it's not metal, I can't wear them. So that might be good for someone for a lot, perhaps. I can use the uh, parts. Ooh. Now that looks like the wrong chain. Or is that just me? Very thick little chain. And then this, it's sort of pinky stone, pinky rhinestones on a, a little background. It's got a big bail on it, so it obviously is meant for a larger chain. It just looks a bit oversized on there. And that's, that really is a choker length. I've not got the world's sort of largest neck. So if it's kind of feeling a bit chokerish on me, it's going to be a choker length. But someone might love that. All the stones are present. So I can't complain with these lots. I just, I, part of the fun is actually opening it up. It's like Christmas. <laughs> um, actually get to selling them would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Ah, knotty here. We've got knots. Knotty, knotty, knotty. Of course, the best thing is a safety pin to unknot when they get like this, especially the tiny chains. Um, when when shaking alone doesn't quite do it, but this this is a bigger chain, so I should be able to pick it out quite easily. So what's everyone having for supper tonight? Any supper plans? I've got to make meatballs again. That's my uh, speciality: meatballs with tomato and mascarpone sauce. Oh, that's rather delicate, isn't it? Pebbles. Yeah, I, I've always been interested in geology and rocks and pebbles and stones and things. There we go. That's quite, it's green. I think a lot of people like green. Very delicate. It's it's glass. It's not, um, no, it's not stone. It is glass. It's quite a nice modern piece. It's more of a delicate thing. Oh, these are very, oh, I, now, if I wasn't allergic, they're kind of cool. They get a bit lost in my hair. But, um. They're rather nice. Nice, nice danglies. 
When you've got long hair, you really need danglies unless you wear your hair out because they just can't be seen. They're in that sort of gunmetal tone and have clearly never been used. Freedom. Five pounds they were originally. Goodness me. But they do feel quite nice quality, I must say. I'm not disappointed in those at all. Oh my God, have I got another one of these? Oh, is it real? Is it real, my friends? <laughs> I don't think it is. No, very much not so. I don't even think that's a matching back to it, to be fair. It, but it's very blingy, little crystal. And I think there's just the one. So, a bit tragic, because I think I'd have seen the other one in here. Oh, now this is cute. This is um, a more, more of a vintage one. Cute little beads, though. Again, you can't see through it. They are translucent beads. They're glass because they're cold to the touch. And it, there's a kind of pinky purpley bead in the middle and a red one on the outside. That's really rather cute. Quite liking that. I do like glass. It has that lovely weight to it. Uh, oh, it's there. That's vintage. In okay. Right, I think we've got some more earrings on here. Oh, now these are cute too. But they're tangled. Hang on a minute. What's gone on? Turn these around the right way or you won't be able to see them. Fashionable, neater clip. I just quite like the design. Very delicate. It's the colour again, isn't it? They're red with a kind of machined cut to the middle um, but they are sort of clippy ones you know kind of clip-ons and they're not anything you know obviously but something quite cute about that some people wear delicate earrings and look amazing but I, I you know they'd probably be part of a bundle I would imagine oh I've got the wire jewelry on a wire fishing wire. Which I don't like. I do not like. Because everything else gets caught up in it. Actually, that was remarkably easy. But I think this is going to go to a lot. Because there's some quite decent beads on there. But you can see what happens to the wire. Once it goes like that, it never really recovers its shape. So someone may wish to harvest those. Oh, now this is intriguing. This has a real... Mod 60s vibe to it. They almost look like the ring pulls off the old fashioned cans of Coke. Oh, hello, Sue. Oh, yeah. Sue Waring. <laughs> Another favourite, Sue. These are kind of, yeah, they're very thin. Thin little things. I don't really do the mod look very well. But that's um, quite lightweight, but quite nice. Unusual. Quirky. My key words at the moment. Always quirky. You like, you like the little earrings, Lex? <laughs> they are kind of cute. <laughs> You see, you could do that with your hair. You can wear you can wear all sorts of jewelries. The rest of us can't. Oh, little knotty bits. Girl with a pair of earrings. <laughs> um, yeah, that goes with the bangles, I think. Oh, and there's another one. Oh God, People, there are, I could have had a pair of earrings on each ear. <laughs> Actually, they're in pretty good nick. They're not all scratched up, those pearls. So, quite happy to put those in the. Oh, this is. Oh, now what a shame. I'm, maybe I've got some. It hasn't got a vintage clasp, but that is a real vintage style. Almost like a horseshoe in the middle. However, as you can probably see, there's a couple that have gone just down there. Uh, I always wonder if it, if it is worth it. But then. When I get some more time, which I am getting to the point of, well, maybe. Um, oh, there's three missing. I don't know if they're dead or missing. You know, you can't always tell. No, they're definitely missing. I might try and see if I can repair that. I'll, I'm going to make a repair box so that when I get to that point of, you know, I really need something to do. Then I'll see if I can make it good again, because I'd love someone to get to the it. Ah, here's the other one. There we go. There's the other one. See, much as I like a dingly dangly. 
mini. So they're a pair. That's good. Pair of earrings. Big earrings. Little earrings. Oh blimey. This has a has a again I'm not sure if it's on. It looks like <laughs> it's really strange. On a big big bail on it, so it's meant to be on a big chain. It's quite chunky. But the chain to my mind seems a little more delicate. It's on those sort of hollow snake chains. I know there's a name for those. And that seems that seems a bit much on it. Maybe it's just me and my eye just thinks oh it's too much. It's not missing stones. Some of those bits are actually flat, so it's a complete one. Um, <laughs> you're a sucker for some overpriced top shop clubber. <laughs> oh gosh, itchy nose. Yes. Oh hello, Laura. <laughs> Toy shop is freedom. Top shop is freedom. Ah, thank you, Lex. Right. Yeah, they do look kind of slightly with that sort of cake moss edgy kind of look, don't they? So top shop it could be. Oh, this says it's new look, so that's that little mystery solved. Let me have a let me have a look. This is a multi-strand new look. No, surely not. Oh, hang on. You have to get it so that the, the ends are in the right place. Which I find it easier to wear separate chains rather than have a hot mess of one that just gets all tangled up because it's meant to look like you're wearing lots of different chains. If you know what I mean. A bit hard, hard to show, really. Ah, oh, there it is. Quite a sweet cover stone there. Glass. Yeah, that's glass. That's quite sweet. That's new new look anyway. Twenty nine French francs. That must that must be quite old. Though. French francs is um really anyway quite sweet. Put that over there. Ooh, I have got another one. I has two blingy blingy earrings. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They they yeah. They kind of, there's something about them because they look like oh they look like you're pretending they're diamonds. And why not? Oh more earrings here. And these are having a bit of a moment. There we go. Oh no yes. So one's got his legs out. There we go. And one's One's laying flat and one isn't. What's going on there? I think they're meant to lay a little bit flatter. Two beads, really. Little seed bead things. Very beachy. They're kind of quite nice, actually. Someone's gone through a bit of trouble with these because they've actually got little um, blingies around there. So, yeah, they're quite sweet. Sweet earrings. Very summery. Probably going to be something like monsoon or something like that. They've got, oops, got that to them. This is a bit random. Oh, a random flag badge. A slightly random one of these seed bead handmade bracelet things. Um, go for a lot, so I'm going to use that. And. Who's this from? Fashion jewellery made in China. Oh, okay. This is not going to be the crown jewels then. Um, yeah, the top's gone a bit funny, but there we go. There's a little purple flower on antique brass. Is it purple? Or is that just the light? Yeah, it is purple. It's just not as bright a purple as it looks on, on the camera. And the last one from this particular bag, I have got the other bag. Say if you'd like me to continue with you think, no, I'd rather save it for another day. Uh, this is not my favourite sort of style of necklace, but hey ho, don't know who that's by, it's a modern one. Mm, yeah, a bit scratched up. Is this vintage new look? The new look one was vintage. What, what, this one? Oh, I see, because of the... Yeah, two nine two nine French francs twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah, vintage. And it, but even though it has a a lobster claw, that's still vintage because of how long ago it was. Lovely. Well, I'll keep going if people want me to. I mean, I'm sorting it out as I go anyway, so it's helping me out. Um, watch and watch. 
it's helping me anyway because it means I am actually sorting. Because tomorrow I've, uh, I think I'm maybe I'm getting some more stock tomorrow. So, as in my clothes bags, and I've already got some interest in people who are kind of booking them up. So I'm, until I know how many I've got, I'm not going very public with it. Right, here's the other wee baggie then. You can keep crocheting. Crocheting. Crochet. I like crochet. My nan used to make the most incredible sort of like entire outfits for my for my mum. Oh, it sounded on this. Bear with just got a load of put something on the floor. What was that mean? Ah. Little beads. It's gonna be one of those sorts of lots, right? Let me just put the stuff that's a lot into the bag. that kind of stuff together okay. right round two no oh, you got asthma well max is still sleeping so oh oh oh, oh. right well, two things in one because they're all hooked together oh what oh. excuse me these weird things that people clip into their hair the not my favorite quite a sweet little pair of earrings so I've got hiccups now haven't known knows why they're quite cute magnetic hey ho they're quite sweet and put it with that pile of earrings cute earrings Oh yeah. Oh, something else just pinged off me there. This is another Mr. Man. One of those little Mr. Man variety club badges. So we'll put those together. It's a different one. Oh my god. Oops. I shouldn't really say things like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, it's a knuckle duster. A cluster of flowers too. The perfect, the perfect symbol of peace on something that looks like you could really do some damage. That's sharp. This has got some bling on the end of it. So is this. But what fascinates me is they're actually tiny. I mean, this must be from China or somewhere because because <laughs> they're tiny, and you're not going to give that to a child. So um, yes, clatter, clatter. So we read the. Uh, yeah, a bit mystified as to what to do with that. Oh, here we go. These are little seed beads. They're not hematite. Hmm, they're not. They're cold though, so they might be glass. With a little, what feels like a wooden, or plasticky, possibly. Circle on, so that's more of a modern style, but again, quite beachy, quite cool. Quite like that. I'm not together now if I'm not careful. This is, wasn't my best, wasn't my finest moment. I don't like the thing that. Oh, little pair of vintage earrings, just little blue enamel, sweet little things. They can go with the delicate earrings, <laughs> the ones that Lex liked. <laughs> Wowza, okay. <laughs> that just the leaves behind me, yeah. Does a bit. Just rather violent an image though, really. And this might could have been one that somebody made. I think the bottom needs straightening out a bit. It's a kind of a Oh my god. That would have to be a kid's one, I think. Unless it's an anklet. <laughs> I'm saying that because, yeah, I don't have a big, a big neck particularly. That's more like the, I don't know there, it's way too big to be an anchor. No idea what that is. Or maybe it's a child's necklace. I don't know, I might put that with the kids bit because it's not going to fit too many adults. Oh my word, I found something chunky. 
a fat man tank. Yikes. Oh, there's more, more of that fishing wire in here. Oh, my oh, gods. Every batch has to have fishing wire in it. It's the rules. Now, in case anyone can't see you coming. <laughs> Think of the where's the knuckle duster, yeah. Um, what can I say apart from uh -huh. In fact, it's, it's the stuff on the back is rubbed off here. Yeah, <laughs> that's chunky. And of course, it's the one that will hang down at just the wrong place. Just a boobage level. Yes, blinded by the light. If you were stuck on, a, on an island and you needed rescuing, you could sort of use it <laughs> as, a, as a mirror to attract attention. You're certainly not going to be ignored wearing that. Not entirely sure if that's usable or not, though, because of the thing on the back, or whether someone would want to harvest it and use it for something else. Quite possibly a harvest, that one. Simply and understated. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Oh, here we go again. Another one of those. Nobody wants one of those. Oh, I can see feathers. No, I don't mind feathers, but I'm not sure about somebody else's feathers. Things are quite complicated, I would say, in construction. I quite like, I, I'm not into pastels. I do like feathers, though. They're quite cool. But they would tickle your neck, I think, quite extensively. It's kind of a pinky purple, pale green, and then with these little, and they're, they're pierced, pierced ears? Um, yeah, they are, they're pierced ears. Ooh, yeah. Strange, because what you can actually do with these, you can take the whole thing off when your ears are tired and just wear the little ones. <laughs> yeah, because they're surprisingly heavy. Nearly lost it. Surprisingly heavy. <laughs> so they're kind of cool in a strange way. Right, what's going on here? We has more bangles. On the bangle pile. See, I let me forget rid of the bangles. That makes it all a bit easier. Oh, this is a very old. Oh, this is another belt. But it's metallic. It's strange stuff, this, isn't it? It feels really weird. But it's just a pink metal belt. It's yeah, nothing really very special, but kind of got a bit of an 80s vibe to it, I would say. Oh, strings. I don't need strings. Oh, things tangled up in things. Ah, there we go. Strings. Oh, and something that looks like an earring. Oh. Yeah, it's, these are pet peeves. I'm really not keen on these sort of things. But hey ho. Oh, now this is another one, because this was all the same batch, so I suppose it's no surprise that there were going to be things of the same. This is the blue version of that pink one we had earlier, which we decided was was a belt, most definitely. So it's kind of funky. Where's my belt gone? There. There's my belt pile. Now, these are quite cool. Very 70s, very space agey. I quite like a sort of talk. It's more my kind of necklace, but I wouldn't be able to wear it in base metals, really. That's got a very modernist feel to it, so. And that one's in nice condition. It's, I think that will polish off. It's just dust. So that's rather cool. Broken bangle, I can go in the bin. Oh, oh, these strange hair clippy things. Yeah. Not a family. Ooh, this is good. 
This is cute. If only it didn't have metal in it. That's quite sweet. Little proper blue heart. In fact, if you turn it, if I turned it around the right way, it's a blue heart with a little crystal in it. These little um, evil eye beads. That's quite sweet. Very holidayish. There's a lot of loose bits to this end. This is interesting. I suppose it's very strange. It's just a little. It's a little brooch with enamel in the blue area, but it actually comes with a tiny, tiny chain. Let me see that's a B. It's not focusing very well, is it? Probably because it's focusing on my face. Let me take my face out of the way. So that's that's probably quite old. You'll, you'll hear chat in the background. I've just realised my husband is probably having a quick uh, Zoom meeting or conference call with somebody. So uh, he's not quite in the loud Tom area of noise. But you may hear, oh, you're more like TV going, oh my God, this is so. <laughs> you're going to like this next one. Lex, cover your eyes. This is something else. I need to make sure it's all around the right way, otherwise you're not going to get the full effect. Is that going to work? Oh, I think something needs, whoops, I think something needs fixing. Well, hello. Just a little something I threw on. <laughs> it's a kite brooch. Yeah, tiny little kite. Oh, of course, it's meant to have a string dangling outside. It looks like the string. Duh. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> the voice of reason. This interesting specimen of a necklace, I think it's all got it's all got a bit knotted up on itself, so it's not moving freely. I think it's all right. I don't actually think it's broken. I think it was just that there. It just wasn't laying flat because I haven't got it that right, but that is an Eiffel and it's not light. Now, what's the betting it's missing a stone somewhere? Yes. Now it is, it's missing a big stone down at the bottom there. There and there. So that's not going to be easy to replace because I'm guessing they're probably blue ones. Yeah, they should be blue ones which you're not really going to find anywhere. How bloody annoying. If they'd been clear ones, I might have been able to, to find them. Oh, annoying, annoying. Still, worth hanging on to for harvesting, possibly. That one, I might hang on to that one. Oh, that's a shame. That was such a bling. Such a blingy bling. Yeah, you got bangles. Oh, yes, definitely. It's definitely worth having a testing kit. I have a testing kit and I'm still not overly confident with it, but I've got things that I know are silver, so I can't remind myself of doing them, so just to be double sure. This is quite some. Um, yeah, yeah. See, although I've got big hands, I haven't got very big wrists, so a lot of these things don't really work on me. That's a stretchy anyway. So. Kind of funky. Ooh, these are, these are vintage. They're enamel rather than cloisonne. Eh? You can tell by the design. All oh, that jazz. Fashion earrings. Nice big button type style earrings there. That, that's definitely very 80s. Late 80s, early 90s, isn't it? Um, so they're rather cool. Oh, that's the cat, he's woken up. Hello, Max. Can you come say hello? Or no? Oh, now I like a bit of hammered metal. It, it's a stretchy, it's quite old. It hasn't got a lot of stretchy ones. Definitely vintage. <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of quite cool. That's quite mod. Bit of brutalist styling going on there. Max, yeah, now he's, um, he's literally just 
sat there in the washing basket. Well, those are, those are clothes that I, 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 I've got to repair, so I've also got to de-hair them now as well. Thanks, Max. You're such a help. Oh, okay. Oops. This is what gets naughty. Ah, here's another natural stone one. Um, very layered looking. Could that very well could be an agate? It's cold enough. You see, so I like to kind of put all these sorts of things together because people like them. Ooh, more cloisonic, genuine cloisonne. Shanty. Isn't they cute? A lot of people wore these sort of things in the 90s, I'm thinking 80s, 90s. Little bows, little, quite sweet. They're in great condition. I mean, someone obviously bought them, stuck them in a drawer and never wore them. So really cute. Like things like that. Like vintage earrings. Very nice when they're carded as well. Uh, oh, I oh, you know, we <laughs> think, oh, I shouldn't touch myself with my hair. No, I shouldn't touch my hair with dirty hands, was what I meant to say that came out wrong. <laughs> well, this is kind of cool. This is this is obviously like a handmade one. They're quite well handmade, little swirlies on the end. A little bit magical, perhaps. Except they're plastic beads, so they won't have any magical properties. But that's kind of, kind of quite cute, really. Now, that's a big bangle. That's way too big on me. Kind of cute there. A bit boho-y. Boho-y. Oh, okay. Not my favourite fabric by any means. But this is a little necklace. It's a bit steampunky, I guess, with the choker style. It's fabric, which I always find a bit old. A little bit strange. Oh, and how many of these do we get? Ah, but this one's not quite the same. I see lots of these glass ones, but rarely ones where they've actually made a flower form inside it. Whether that actually is Murano, I don't know. That's what these are modelled on. This one is slightly better made. They finish the back off because quite often they don't. And of course, they stuck it on ribbony things. And that's kind of quite cute. <laughs> it's all coming out in lockdown. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, okay, these look like a pair of sort of 90s earrings, I would have said. A little bit of power dressing, mixed metals, they're quite cool. Great feel to them, so they're rather retro y. Liking. I never wore those at the time, I never wore big earrings in the 80s and 90s, mainly because of my allergies, to be fair. Um, Oh, yes, we do see a lot of these about, don't we? Kind of charm, kind of stretchy chain things. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little butterfly in it, though. There are people that are very fond of butterflies and collect. It's got a little puffy heart on, uh, faux pearls, and a little flowery thing there. Yeah. I don't know. I've got just the market with um, bracelets, to be honest. Yeah, I'm more familiar with necklaces. Oh no, this is um, this is quite something too. Okay, wait, which way around it goes? Here we go. It's a faux pearls glass. Yep, glass. Glass heart there. Yeah, we go. Not too garish. That's quite sweet. <laughs> I haven't, you know what, I haven't had an owl in ages. <laughs> I've got a very good friend of mine who is very owlish. Just very, yeah, very owlish. So I can't, I can't see an owl without thinking of her. Maybe one always associates her with owls, even though she would say that that's not her thing. That she's not, you know, but it, it just is. It's, <laughs> she just is an owl. Oh, we've got these little, I think these more like kids' bracelets, am I right? No name on it or anything. I know there is a make of these, but this is more, it's quite 
Actually, that's a bit bent out. Sort of line there. Right. Okay, the charms are magnetic and the thing isn't, but that's probably more for kids' lot, so I'll tend to make a little pile. Oh, now these are very strange. It's like some sort of alien hoving into view. Earrings that look like packing peanuts. <laughs> I, I, I do watch um I do watch Margaret Texas Girl Treasures. The, these are these are plastic actually and they feel quite strange. Um like a moon. <laughs> Little clip on earrings, I'm guessing they probably are vintage because of just the design of them really. Struggling with Twitch Roo, yeah. <laughs> yes. I was quite confused by that. I found that quite confusing. So I kind of have to un untangle the, the little bangle collection that we've got going on here. Some bangles are really big and some are tiny. That's huge. Absolutely massive bangle. That I couldn't wear that. It would be far too big for me. And then some of them are so tiny. I'm like, nope, nope, that's not going to go on. <laughs> um, Ah, another rain necklace. Ooh, I say. That's one necklace again, is it? Are you sure? Yep. Let's take the earring, earring off, though, because nobody needs that. Is that the right way around? There we go. Plastic beads. Gold tone. Very light metal. If somebody doesn't want a heavy necklace, I'm guessing that works. Interesting sort of moonstone type colour there. That's what they're going for. Slightly pinky with a yellowy stone to go with it. But it's all in plastic there. And they reckon that was £6.50 as well. So, nice. Ooh, we're starting to get towards the ten digits now. Yeah, it's a ring. New look. Oh, I see. There's a, someone's obviously got a whole card of earrings, but didn't want those ones because they're they're very tiny though. Those are those are very losable, aren't they? Quickly lose an earring like that. Little stretchy. I I'm always drawn to these Aurora Borealis stones. Though. They are just fabulous. I like things like that because they, they glitter a bit, but they're not too mad. Oh, now this is interesting. This looks like it's a brooch. This looks vintage to me. How out deco is that? Is that meant to be at that angle? Oh, yeah, that angle. That's cool. I like that. That's one of my favourite finds. I'm pretty sure it isn't anything. Although it's not magnetic. I'm not thinking that doesn't feel like it's anything in particular, but it's so pretty. Might be cheap as chips, but that's so pretty. I like that. That might be a what is it, Margaret calls them catch and release. <laughs> I think oh, I might wear that. Of course, I don't. Of course, I don't wear it. Oh, this will be right up someone's street. Sort of hematite with a little thing in it, gold tone. Not the best made thing on the back there. It needs folding in or it's going to poke somebody. Why would you have that there? Anyway, and little turquoisey beads. So that's cute. I'm sure someone will want that. It's a way of displaying their faith, which we're all entitled to do. There's another very, very cheapy ring there. Again, these can have uses for harvesting or, or as job lots. Joblets, as Miss Shelley says. Oh, I'm seeing, seeing wire and all sorts in here. Eep. We're getting to the bottom, though. <laughs> it was lovely, wasn't it? I think that's probably the best thing in here. Certainly to my taste, anyway. That was another, another hair barrette in plastic. I can go over there. I'd be washing my hands most thoroughly after this. 
Sorry, I'm not showing you the, the gold bangles because I think you, once you've seen one, you kind of see them all. Oh, drawn towards a chunky thing. I don't know if this actually is a necklace or if it's a part of something. It's not, not heavy by any means, but that seems a little um, bit unfinished, like it's not really meant to be like that. But who am I to know? You know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, don't know about that, not sure. I'll put that with my not sure pile, which is quite large. <laughs> little plastic beads on the stretchy. Go for a lot. Yes, these are stones again as well. These may be a form of agate. I know we have a joke about everything's agate. Um, but I, they don't feel quite cold enough. They don't feel cold enough to be a stone, these. Not if I compare them to something that I know is a stone. But we'll look at those more closely later. <laughs> um, I've got one here for the divas. i just got to get all the earrings off it. Cosmic star. Glass. Another nice piece of glass. Much like that other Murano star one. People do like these. They're rather very holiday-ish. I quite like that. I'm sure some will love it. You know, I'm going to have a go at selling. At selling these. It's getting a bit nutty now. Okay, it's getting very nutty now. Oh, I wonder what I can. Oh, now if this is complete, this will be good. It's on a card and there's lots of other things to print this, so just bear with me a second. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll go to taking us first. Oh, okay, we have a scene. There's a scene here. That's a very gothy style. Isn't that very steampunky gothy style? Little cross there. Who are you by? It's got a tagged. And that is Claire's. Oh, very tiny pair of earrings. Very definitely not silver. Just a tiny pair of hoops. It's a shame because they're pretty, but they're not really. I don't think they. Uh, anyone's going to be very interested. Oh dear, what have we got here? I don't know. Sort of a little princessy ring thing that can go with the kids' lot. I definitely will do a kids' lot. So I think out of all the lots I've had, I've got enough. Oh, now this is what you usually see in these glass style ones. And that's just the one with a bronzy. That, that's a lot more ordinary than the others. I think the others are nicer. Um, Tiny, tiny child's neck uh, bracelet. <laughs> Necklace. No. This one. Oh, good lord. Ah. Ah, okay, right. This is one of those mini layers. Quite sweet in a kind of matte silver tone. Finish. It's kind of cute there, sort of boho, I suppose. What we got on there? Stars, snowflakes, crystally things. Yeah, it's quite sweet. I'm going to enjoy that. I'm hoping. Oh, no, this has got a bit of a retro vibe to it. Mm, retro rather than vintage, I'm thinking here. Again, it's the finish and the clasp, the chains, but how's that for sweetie shop? <laughs> And asymmetrical, which I like. The fact that, you know, it's not all symmetrical. It's kind of like being a 
candy store thing, isn't it? Quite sweet, but it's in that antique brass sort of finish with the lobster cloth. That is very much a modern one. It's got a nice feel. It's a feathers. Don't think we need that. Ouch. That might be a kid's one again. Oh yes, it's the, the frozen type thing, isn't it? Kids lot. <laughs> Definitely a kids lot. Right. Excuse the scrabbling. Uh, here we have one of these sort of very minimalist style, simple style circle. Uh, necklace. It's a bit of a fix. With the jump rings and things, that's not been done very well. So let's see if it's worth detangling and trying to sort out. Not sure what's happened there. It's going to be magnetic, yes. You can just tell. I have to make a bit of a decision to whether it's worth spending the time to repair something if it's not actually going to sell. You know, should I be doing it? But then I also think everything should have a chance to be reused. Pretty in its own way. Um, little thing here. Let's see what I'm doing. The eyes are getting tired. That's one of those sort of diamante jobbies. I think it's got all its stones. Surprisingly pretty. Some of these things are very inexpensive to buy new, but are actually really rather well sweet. It, there is tarnishing on the back of it, I've got to say. Um, that's not likely to be because it's anything special. That's going to be because it was worn on a summer's evening. But hey ho, if if that's if I can't clean that off, then that will go for a lot, I would imagine. Into a lot of fiddly bits here. Hmm. Okay, why are you tangled together like that? How can that happen? Ah, oh, untangled. Oh, this is sweet. It's a nice design. I like. I do like it when they do a chain like this. It's a little Celticy thing with a crystal on the end. I suppose that is a sort of Celtic knot. Will be a fairly basic one. Um, that's quite sweet though. Definitely magnetic. Yep. But a nice delicate necklace there. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. We just have to keep undoing things to get them, get them off. I also quite like these sort of where it's like a ball and chain. Really cute, very lightweight, just with one of these things on here. Very modern. Um, sometimes I wonder with these if it's worth keeping the chain in case you have something pretty to go on it and harvesting the stones from these. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable enough. I'm very much feeling my way here. Trying to get the wire one out of the way. Fishing yeah. wire, fishing wire. God, how knotty do things get? Ah, this is possibly vintage because it has the. Oh no, no, it's magnetic. <laughs> I thought it was a barrel clasp, but it's magnetic, which is quite sweet. But there's some interesting beads on here. Really nice work beads. Very much the old tribal feel there, in sort of pinks, mainly pinks there. That's nice, I really like that. It's got a nice feel to it. Aha, are we nearly there with the next chunky one? Here we go, more tribal. Kuchi tribal, um, is it Kuchi they called it? Pretty sure that that isn't turquoise, obviously it's some um, Related to illusions, it's called. It was a tenor. Brand new, and it still is brand new. So I think the tribal look never really goes away. It suits certain people. 
if you like tribal, you're always going to want to wear it because it's an easy, an easy go-to really. Is this all part of the same thing? No, separate ones. Oh, okay. Is that all part of one thing? It doesn't seem like it should be, but it is because they've mixed the metals. Okay, fair enough. This is, has got a little spiritual sort of ring to it. It's got the angel feather. It has a hollow cross and stars. Yeah, little stars and little crystals. So that's kind of a, a mixed one. Celtic twist, yes. You tried to explain the twit to Rue. Yeah, I, I was sort of watching it back, but as often happens, I'm doing something else at the same time as I'm doing it. And I think she was saying that one bird says twit and the other one says true. And I didn't, I wasn't entirely sure that's what happened, but um, yes. <laughs> you can explain the twit true to us because we'll, we'll, we'll pay attention this time, I promise. <laughs> um, yes, owls are such magical creatures. Do love an owl. But like I say, my friend who really reckons the owl is not her totem owl, and it so clearly is. Um, it's quite, it's quite funny. <laughs> so, how can you de deny your essence? <laughs> you know, I'm very much a cat person, but I am also aware that my um, a, a, an animal I'm very spiritually connected to are, are sort of crows, corvids, ravens of all sorts. And I, w I didn't know that until I found out. I had a, an experience with them, let's put it that way, where a connection was made. That's a very modern little butterfly there, um, sort of made in China. Fair. Um, I think you can have affinity with more than one sort of animal, though. It was you that said that. American owls say something different. I'd be very surprised if they do. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. This, this has a Y on it. I presume it's a Y. I'm not sure why it has a Y. It'll be very magnetic. But yeah, I'm trying to show what that is. What's going on there with that one? It's funny the things we're told at school. You never know for sure whether something's real or not. Um, I didn't study um, owls in particular, to be fair. That wasn't my subject. I did zoology at uni, that's why I say <laughs> I was more interested in the social insects, bees, ants, termites, uh, wasps to some extent. <laughs> I'm still not overly fond of This was the fishing wire that was causing me the trouble. That'll go into a lot. Do not care for fishing wire. Canada. <laughs> Canada brooch. And uh, a little long brooch. It's very old fashioned style, that. It is actually a brooch and it is a modern one. Um, it's not magnetic, but it's not. I don't think it is anything. Oh, let's have a look. No. What does it say? There's something on it. Ah, there we go. There's a loop. I knew I had one nearby. Oh, hi, Double Karma. <laughs> Avon. <laughs> That's what it says. It came from Avon. Another little brooch. Kind of sweet. No, oh, it's brooch time. Oh, now this is interesting. And you take one look at that and you go, oh, it must be terribly, terribly modern because it has that look. But this actually has an old fashioned pin on it. Um, so there's every possibility that might be something interesting. Let's give it, give it a rub. See if a genie comes out. It's very, very dirty, I have to say. But it really looks like that kind of filigree work. If I hold it up really close, it's got a surprising amount of work in it. It was this middle stone, uh, well, I'm assuming it's a piece of glass because it's it doesn't look like a real stone, but it's, yeah, that, that's lovely. I really like that. That's another lovely piece. Put that with that vintage boat I put down a minute ago. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll put those two together because those are ooh, lovely. 
Oh, another watch. Oh, I must have thought I looked at that earlier. Here we go. Sorry, me doing this again. Philip Mercia. That's quite pretty, a blue face watch rather than a brown face watch is so much more attractive. And this says Philip Mercier quartz stainless steel back. I don't know if it's a wind up one or a. No, it's not a wind up one, it's a battery one. But it's not scratched or anything, that's actually quite sweet. Don't know the brand, but it feels quite well made. It doesn't feel cheapy cheapy. Let's see if I could do it back up again, which clearly I'm going to have an epic fail at. All right, there we go. Nice silver tone, nice chain on it, no tarnishing. Rather neat. See, even as a child, I could never wear a watch because I was allergic. Czech or German? Ooh, okie dokie. Possibly, it's just the delicacy of it. It has got that filigree, it works all wire work. Open the wire work, really lovely. I do like seeing craftsmanship and things. That's what I tend to get drawn to. What do we have here? A tiny, tiny, tiny. I think that's a swallow or a sw not showing you, am I? Being a dude. There we go, swallow or a swift. Very magnetic. Very modern. This is cute. This is cute. It's, like I say, it's not really anything super. Look at the state of my hands. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, it's got little, these are all little ceramic beads, I think, with seed beads. But just so cute. Very beachy, very boho. Nice, nice stuff. Nearly there. I'm sort of trying to deal with the things on wires and odd earrings that are coming up against. There's more cheese wire. There you go. Yes, they all sort of do that. Quite sweet, really. If only it wasn't on cheese wire, is my immediate thought. Quite pretty purple necklace, though. I've seen that. Oh, no, this is a bit more. Steampunky gothy. Try and get it the right way around, just that way around. Here we go. Do like a bit of that. Rather sweet. A bit steampunky, a bit like this one. I said probably Claire's or something, really, but people like them, they like them. Uh, so stretchy. Yeah, it's a stretchy that's overstretched. So that's a, going a lot. Okay. I'll show you the ones at the end because I keep picking picking them out. This is um, it's got a little tag. I'm not entirely sure what that tiny little tag is. Oh, excuse my disgusting nails. Very difficult to see. <laughs> you hear birds? Yes, yes, we have um, um, sparrows and starlings nesting. <laughs> in the eaves of this house. So that's quite that's quite cute in my son. Vintage style. It's not vintage, but it's vintage style gold tone. Little collar length necklace. Oh these are cute. Little earrings, little they're not big ones in that style. You do get big ones sometimes. Some helpfully clip them together. No name on them. Just a nice little pushback. Delicate earrings for a delicate sort of person. Quite cute though. Vintage styly, I would say. Oh, there's another brooch. Ah, oh, now, now. That's weird. Sorry, I'm doing that because I'm trying to work out what that is in the middle. Quite yellowy stones around a, I would say it looks like where they're trying to make it look like markers eat. It's got a 30s vibe to it and it has got, once again, the old fashioned C clasp. 
It's all very machined, though. It's making me think twin, uh, 30s. Even a screw in the back, which is kind of weird. Um, this thing in the middle, I initially looked at it and thought it was like a piece of leather, but it's not. It's a, it's a stone, but it's a bit loose, which is a worry. Oh, that helped when you're dropping it, clearly. Um, yeah, the pin is magnetic. The um, It's actually a bit loose, to be fair. How cool is that? I love vintage stuff. Love, love, love. Get all excited. I like modern stuff, don't get me wrong, but I just go, ooh, I see something vintage. Do not it. What's going on here? Is it caught up? Right, okay, this is broken, I think. Yeah, it's a necklace where that's become detached from there. Hmm, does only need a jump ring, but I don't know. Is it attractive enough to be worth fixing? Who's it by? No. Dansk SM. Oh God, I can't say that. That's something very Scandinavian sounding. Hang on. I'll look that up, but I, I could if I can find. Problem is, all the all the kind of jump rings and things I've got are either silver or gold. But I might be able to sal salvage one off somewhere else. And it's, it's quite, actually quite a cool modernist piece. That quite a modernist look will be nice repaired. So that can go in my investigate and repair point. Ah, uh, I think is this one necklace? This is one necklace with many strands, and this has caused a lot of the problems. Uh, how do you ever get those not to look like a hot mess? I mean, is it possible? Oh my word! But anyway. There it is. I mean, they look nice when they're on somebody and they look right. I suppose they kind of drop out, don't they? So that's quite nice. That's longer, longer length one with some nice, not detail to one side. So as long as I can stop that from getting tangled, keep it apart from the other stuff, we'll be all right. Right, we're on earrings. These are a little pair of earrings. Don't think they're anything. Super special, little danglies. We go with the dangly lot. I seem to have a, a pendant, but it's a little fished up. Some maybe if I put it on a on a silver tone chain, so I might fancy that. And I've got oh I've, oh no, they're not old earrings. There's a pair, enamelled. How cute are these? Let me try and actually show you. Two little dots, they're quite cute. They're sort of very naughty, aren't they, really? Um, not marked or signed by anyone, but they're quite cute. I used to really like enamel as a finish on things. I think some of these are just going to be old ones. So I've kind of got earrings. And sort of an odd little pendant. Again, I will check these over, but I don't think they're going to be anything special. They certainly don't have that feel about them. There's another odd little one there. It could be useful for harvesting, quite possibly. Those might fit in there. Um, yeah, another little, another little pendant that could be useful for harvesting. I'm tending to sort of hang on to those now, just because. And it's some sort of tiny, tiny little earrings that oh, I see. Yeah, they're not missing anything, but they're definitely not anything because you can see by looking. And then I'm very oh, hang on. There's a pair of these. <laughs> a pair of these earrings. So there we go. Two little circles and 
finally, I'm thinking, a little pair of earrings. So there's some nice things in there that, that will sell, without a doubt, modern stuff. Um, definitely will sell. Um, there's things that I can harvest things, sorry, things that I can harvest things from, getting absorbed there. Um, things that I'd like to try and repair if I can. And the three, for me, the three best things, because I love vintage and I have grey fingers, are my Art Deco brooch. Does that just not hang straight? That is odd. It, I think they've put that on the wrong place. So I can read that one. Um, this little one here, and this fascinating, very grubby little one here. It might be Czech, according to Lex. So, um, Thank you for tuning in. I hope that's past some of your Wednesday afternoon. Ah, oh, I haven't seen what the ginger witch said there. Hang on. Right. Okay, no, you're welcome to hijack. Let's have a look. The twit is a tall nails contact call, and the true is a male's territorial call. So if you hear twit woo, it's most likely a male answering a female. Excellent. Okay. We don't have many owls around here, but when I was a kid growing up, there were there were quite a few owls around, around the place. Mm. Lovely. Well, that's good good to know. <laughs> nitwit. Yeah, it probably is short for nitwit actually. Um, yeah. So thank you, thank you for being here. Um, I hope that sort of occupied a bit of your afternoon. If anyone else has got any lives, I'm all ears. I'm happy to watch. All eyes, really. Very happy to watch. So thanks for tuning in. And I will see you anon. It might be Jets. Thank you. Yes, Lex. It could be. Because it doesn't feel particularly cold. I will investigate. Thank you ever so much. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye, Lex. Ta-ra. Bye-bye.